Mic check, mic check. Just kidding. Okay, guys, we are going to um, figure out how to steal an image off the internet, turn it into a vector. After that, we'll kind of work into our Glow 4G thingies, but let's do this. All right, I'm in the Google um, images. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna grab an image that says it's a vector, but it's not a vector, and we know that because it has that little transparent box behind it. So it's like a fake vector, which normally really upsets us, but it won't anymore. So I'm gonna copy that image. I'm go ahead and I'm gonna paste it into Adobe Illustrator. I'll go ahead and hold down shift and enlarge. And now I'm gonna do this snazzy, amazing, delightful tool called Image Trace. So I'm gonna click on the image that I just pasted in. I'm gonna click on Image Trace. I'm gonna to go to Expand which will then take that image trace and turn it into a bunch of different layers. But right now everything's grouped together. So you're gonna ungroup, ungroup. So you gotta ungroup twice. I know it's crazy. But once you have ungrouped it twice, then you can grab this top layer and move it around. And if I just, here, I'll make it gray. So you can see, oh, I just made the stroke gray. You can see that it's just a layer on top of that. So I'm gonna delete that. And you can see now each individual bird is its own vector image. Now let's say I, come on, okay. Let's say I wanna go ahead and zoom in on this bird and maybe I wanna inverse my bird so it's transparent on the inside, has a stroke on the outside. And then um, I want to look at the vectors and maybe adjust some things. So this allows me to kind of steal an image off the internet, but then tweak it and make it my own. So that is how you go from the internet to image trace to a vector image.